Hey guys, Flying Dutchie here. Welcome back to Russia. This is third episode. Let's unpause the game. Uh, we conquered Turkey and Romania, and now we are going to prepare. And oh, what is this? Oh yeah, my fleet is over here. Um, I don't want my fleet over there. I want you to go here. Or can you not to go here? Can I not tell my fleet to dock somewhere else? Maybe it's stuck or something. I think it's repairing. No. So what is your deal then? Why are you over here? I can't move it. I cannot move this fleet, and I don't know why. Oh, I guess you are stuck over there. Oh, wait, maybe I can move them now. Yeah, I can move them. Let's move them to the Baltics. Uh, I don't think I need my fleet over there. I'll move them away. Uh, these guys are still over here, of course. Now, I think I want these in a port over here. Nah, stay in Istanbul. That's a good, uh, good port. And we, of course, have a couple of ships over here that are not going to do a lot. And these are the Baltic uh, submarines. Okay, we did some uh, research things. It's uh, 37. Uh, we need to get these to construction and concentrated industry. We are still using the paranoia system. Um, we will complete this one uh, in... How many, how many days is that? 27? So we do not have to click this uh, Ford Satisfactory Production Reports to lower political paranoia. Uh, preferably you don't want to do these ones, because then you get rid of your people. I think we don't have to. We also have a lot of uh, air experience that we gained from our first two wars. Which is really nice, of course. Now, we will see a nationalist Spain, so... Uh, fascist, which is not good for us. But yeah, we were busy with our own things. Yeah, these planes, well, I would just keep them over here for now, but uh, these uh, naval bombers. Should just come here for now. Then go over the upper Baltic Sea when the time is there. Preferably I will conquer the Baltic, so I can use maybe some airfields here. Do they have any airfields? No. Oh. Well, maybe they do, but I can't see them. Yikes. That's terrible. Do we get any uh, attrition? No. And that's the good thing. We can still modify the government, of course. Uh, we don't really need the manpower yet. We have war economy. That's okay. Um, I am using my garrisons to fulfill my... Uh, my supplies to fill my garrisons, so we can... Root out the resistance. That's it's gonna cost a lot of uh, things the whole time. Just uh, that's just gonna be a problem. There's nothing we can do about it. Um, I will put a couple of these in the queue. I think. Yeah, Spain is put in the gold. Let's also put. Uh, let's actually put an extra tank in this uh, thing here. So we will need an extra tank for all the divisions that we have now. So now we have a 2,000 deficit, uh, certainly. But uh, hey, we have 12 tanks. That's not bad at the start of the game. Not at all. Okay, this is uh, tricky. We are above uh, 25%. So every day, a event can happen. There's a chance. So I will just take the chance and not do anything. And can finish that uh, that focus. Uh, what do we want now? We also want better radios for the tanks. They can give you a lot of breakthrough. 
So if we can get uh, improved radio, we get 45% more breakthrough for our tanks, which is amazing. Service vessel detection is nice as well. Uh, what do we have now? 25? This is a huge uh, bonus that we get from this one. Um, can we just build some naval bombers? No, we don't have the industry for it. I still want to get a better battleship. What about anti-tank? Do I want anti-tank on my divisions? Well, we should need it at least for, I think, some guns, right? Yeah, we need to research it anyway, so let's just start it. So we can build good... Um, what do you call these? Never mind. France invites us to the non-intervention committee. However, the draft pro uh, when France gets the Soviet Union joins the non-intervention committee or do not. If we get to not intervene, a multitude of loopholes ensures that we would still be able to affect the war in Spain should we choose. The only tangible effect will be a minor boost to the popular support of the government. No, we are not going to join you, Franz. Get out of here. <laughs> Come on, finish the focus. Go to speed 5. There is nothing happening, so... Yay. Did nothing happen in the meantime? No. But the paranoia is still 20. Uh, what did we get from the workers' dictatorship? I think we just improved our politburo with some... Uh, power and other things. Now can we go to this one? Oh no, we can't. We can go to centralization and discipline though. And then we lose uh, 20 political paranoia in 35 days. Let me modify the, the Politburo again. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this one. To lower it. And we are not going to take this focus. We will pick another 35 day focus first. Um, I get the research bonus for ships. Maybe we should get some uh, research bonus for our ships and make a good battleship. A level 2 battleship. On the other hand, we don't... Yeah, we, have, we, we can do two things. We can do this and maybe we, have, we can pop one out before the war starts. Or we wait until we can make a super ship. But then it's too late. That's the whole thing. Can I do this one? Five year plan. Yeah, let's, uh, let's finish the five year plan, I think. Yeah, I don't like that, that advisor. It's in the list there. But yeah, we can go to the third five-year plan already. Because we have 120 factories now. And that is pretty handy. To get these research bonuses. Yeah, we have to do this one. Oh, but I really want to build that big battleship. No. I'm gonna get the battleship. I want it. Chiang Kai-shek arrested. I think you need to click he is still needed. I think that's good for Russia. Yeah, because then this happens. The, uh, the Chinese are going to uh, join a front together. And that is a good one. Because this will fight against Japan. And that is perfect. I don't know if Tibet joins. Oh, who are you? <laughs> who, who is that guy? <laughs> uh, I don't know why I think that's so funny, though. <laughs> but I think it's pretty funny. Yeah, Nationalist Spain won. Well, not yet. 
I guess, because Madrid is still part of uh, the commies. But they will die. They will go down. Now the next focus will be the lower paranoia focus. Uh, do I want to? Did my ships arrive over here? They did not because they are stuck here. Right? Yeah, you cannot get there. That is really annoying that I cannot get this battleship over here because I think what I just did is put my new ships in this in this fleet and this fleet cannot go here. What do I need? I need docking rights. No one will give me docking rights. No one. So this is pretty annoying. Um, well, go here then I guess. But where are these boats going now then? They are going into this one. That is really annoying, because then I have only submarines in the Baltics. And I have no heavy ships in the Baltics. But this is my only big fleet with battleships, so I have to put them over here and then just hope that I get the range at some, at some point, I guess. That is really frustrating. I'm gonna do some more exercising to get some experience. Shifts, uh, shift train. Yeah, they are all repairing. Because they were out of the sea for so long, I guess. Really frustrating once again. But this game is just very frustrating in general, so it doesn't matter. Um. <laughs> If a radio detection technology has been researched, we get one radar station. Okay. Nice. And nice. Maybe we do these four and then you click this one, then you get even more. Uh, naval factories. We are going to do this one. Gonna lower all the paranoia. Oh, we do have a lot of points now. Um, let's see. What do we have here? Do you get the fifth to sixteen army experience uh, points? Yeah. Let's start getting some extra army points. How good is the Politburo? We get 10% more political power, minus 2 consumer goods, more factories, more construction speed. Yeah, it's decent. We make now uh, one. We need to kill Trotsky at some point. Then that modifier will be less than what it is now. Yeah, Spain war is over. What do we need? We need some rubber. Yeah, let's get one factory to rubber with the Dutch. There you go. Thank you, Netherlands. We're trying to uh, put these people to a lower resistance. Well, it's 23 right now, the target. Now it's 26. There we go. Centralization and discipline with only 10% paranoia. Can we now do this one? No, we can do war economy, but then um, we lose 10 stability if we are not at war. So we cannot do this one until we are at war. And we cannot do this one. Uh, in, we can do this one in 35 days and then in 70 days we will lose the paranoia. 
That means uh, 10 times 3, that's 30. Then we are at 40%. Hmm. We could let that happen, of course. Now, what do I want now? I guess we are going to focus on our industry now. With this plan here. The German-Soviet Treaty. Now, I will accept. We get a variant of the A-20 tank and the KV-1 tank. And that means that we can build them right now if you want to. This is just something that happens with the, the Soviet. So we have the KV-1. This is a basic heavy tank. With 10 engine, 9 armor. We can make this one better. And then we can build it. This is how... Uh, uh, let's see. Yeah, this is how the KV-1 looked like, I think. But you can also put a bigger gun on it. So we do have this one. But we do not have... Oh, we do have bonus, so... Um, what is the difference between these? You just have better armor. Yeah, but we also need to do these ones. If we want to upgrade our armor on our tanks. That's also something we need to do. I don't know if I'm going to go with medium tanks. Maybe I just keep the light ones with the motorized and the heavy ones with mechanized uh, infantry. It's called mechanized infantry. Yeah. Ooh. Off-track suspension. What is the speed of these things? The speed is 8 kilometers an hour. Yeah, and then I would like to have a tank that can actually do the same. Now the heavy tanks cannot reach 8 kilometers an hour. So I guess we have to go with medium tanks as well. The mediums are closer to 8 kilometers an hour. So yeah, I think we have to do that. Uh, we do have a lot of points again. Um, we could do some war propaganda. We don't need to. We don't need any of these. The only thing we need is rubber. We have the other things as well. Uh, what can we do? What can we get for military high command? Now I want this guy. The armor divisions are better, but therefore we need to complete positive heroism, uh, which we will do at some point. We can make our capital ships a bit better. We can get concealment, submarines, close air support. That's only three percent. That's nothing. Oh. Maybe we should just get this one, the armor guy, and then maybe something else. Maybe the capital ship damage or something. But for now, I will pick you. We will get this one, the Gosprejektstroy. I think I want that one, so I'm not going to pick anything here. Uh, battle is also not going to important. Maybe some tank designer. Is it could be cure of armor and heart attack. It's also for later. Are we gonna do something with the paranoia? I don't know. Maybe we should just let it go. I'm gonna just gonna I think we will get one event. It will be bad for us. So there's the heavy industry, and now we can click this one. Next day. It takes 35 days, and then we get the last Great Purge. Well, let's hope nothing will happen, but I think we cannot hold that back, so... 
Are we finally getting our garrison equipped? We do. Nice. And there we go. Admiral Vladimir Kasatonov, accused of treason. Which one is that? This guy. You are my sea wolf, that's okay if he dies. Ouch. But unfortunately, we had a bad event. <laughs> Oops. Man, how are we gonna get that navy into the Baltics then? Well, by conquering Scandinavia, Dutchie. Oh, yeah, and of course. <laughs> of course, that's the only way. Okay, that was the anti-tank. I don't think I'm going to put these on my infantry, because we are going to build tanks itself. Now, we do have the bonus now to the heavy ship here, the battleship, so let's just get it. And then we are going to make at least one of them. That's going to take a long time, so... Then we also need some destroyers to... Uh, I think it's 4 to 1 ratio, so if you have 4... If you have... Uh, we have 2... 3 heavy ships, then you need at least 12 screening ships. Now, and I, I think we have 18 screening ships. Yeah, I think that's how it is. If we have five battleships, then we need uh, 25 screeners next to it. Oh, there we go. This is the Great Purge. Uh, you cannot stop this. They will die, and they will always die. Boom. Um, we can click this one uh, when it is 175 days ago. We're still getting uh, paranoia. I think we do. That's annoying. Uh, we can behead the snake, kill Trotsky. We lose a 30 paranoia. We should not pick it now because it's a waste of the points that we lose with it. So I guess we will start with the five year plan. 70 days though. Then we are at 40%. We need a 35-day thing. Oh, this is not bad. This is also not bad. Now we can start doing some stuff over here. Let's do this one and then the snake. The snake focus. I have a decent amount of navy experience to build a big, big battleship. US is going for neutrality. Yeah, but they will join eventually. There we go. We build it we built everything we wanted to build. Now we can decide on our own on our navy. Now we have some we have a decent amount of destroyers. I think I'm gonna build at least two big battleships when the time's there. And in the meantime, we just uh, make a good screening boat here. This is a anti-submarine boat. Well it's doing both. It's doing uh, uh, light attack and it's doing torpedo attack so it's not a specialized boat and this one is an horrible boat they only lay mines this one is absolutely absolutely garbage what i want is or a anti-submarine destroyer or a screen destroyer against other big fleets we can do torpedo launchers here. But the thing is, we can... 
get anti-air, we can get this thing. We do not have radar or sonar yet. Really? Here we ne need to pick the torpedo launcher. So, here you can choose between another light attack here. Or, anti-air is not needed, we, we are building planes. Or another torpedo launcher. And then I will go for another light battery. So this is what I want for my screening boats, the shield uh, icon. But we do not have the radar or sonar, and that is because of... ...technologies that we need. Let's start... Did I just save this now? I think I did. We are gonna build that one. And we will keep building that one the whole time, but just slowly. Straight industry and construction. Um, I think we want to get to the radar and the sonar. I think that's pretty important. I could get another research for the cruisers. Yeah, this is the sonar. It's for submarines only. We need radar, not sonar. Proof torpedo launches, snorkels, no. Uh, we could get better lights. Guns, but no. No. This is all done. I think we need to get to... I think we're going to start building medium tanks in... Uh, 1940 then. It's a bit late, isn't it? I still need all of these, and I need the trains... I need the marines, maybe. What is more important? Do I keep getting my light tanks? I think I'm gonna get light, medium and heavy tanks, but that's just so... I think I'm gonna replace my light tanks for medium tanks. So we have some light and mediums together with motorized at, at start. And then later on we will just make mediums with uh, mechanized. I think that's what I'm gonna do. So I think we should just go and get the medium research there. What is this? Yeah, we can get the anti-tank, but we are not gonna build it. A lot of points once again. get that one these guys are well trained these ones as well you are almost done, I guess. Yeah, because we are popping out more, they need to train. France and Britain are in an alliance, okay. We did addressing internal affairs. Now we are going to do this so we can lose our paranoia. We are going to try to kill Trotsky. And therefore we need an intelligence agency, and that will be the NKVD. Hopefully nothing will happen. It's pretty high, but I just don't want to spend my points on getting someone accused. I mean, no. He will do it himself, Stalin. Or 
are we doing here? We have a lot of artillery. I think it's time to uh, put at least an artillery in. I think we have that. We did not even have the one artillery for all our, our units. Now there's our heavy ship hull. There is our heavy ship hull and that is something we will build. Guess we would just go for the heavy tank as well here. Now we can now build that big ship that I wanted to build. I hope I have enough experience. We want a heavy battery. Another heavy battery. Another heavy battery. And another heavy battery. We want a heavy battery. Anti-air. Fire control. We don't have any sonar. Engine 2. Do I want this one? I guess so. And battleship armor. Okay. Well, it works. Let's save it. This is costing a lot of uh, time to build. That's why we should start on it right now. In 1940, we will have the ship. That's going to be a beast. Conspiracy amongst civil servants. So he did something, I guess. Um, minus 20, that's nice. The thing is, we are also going to lose 30 here. So that's a bit of a waste. I will click it. the NKVD so we get our first um, what do you call it a spy uh, we also have a lot of support equipment now what I of course want is to give them at least uh, an engineer or entrenchment let's just start with this and see what happened to the support equipment yeah that's already uh, costing so much to all the troops we have okay we did the behead the snake focus so we are at zero again then we can start assassinating Trotsky. We cannot do this one in uh, 105 days. So that's going to take some time. What do we want to do in the meantime? I guess we will do the finish the five year plan. Looks like we will have to do some of these to uh, keep the paranoia low. Maybe just kill one general to lose 20. The other options only lose 10, which is nothing of course. Oh, are we getting problems? Yeah, that's the thing. I put my uh, cavalry that I have in the field now as my military police. So what we need to do is all those cavalry units need to become normal troops. That's going to cost a ton and ton of equipment. Uh, focus on reinforcing first then I guess. It's just going to take some time. Yes. It looks like that it is too much. We get a little bit of attrition with a couple of units over here. I'm not using any trucks, right? I do use any trucks. Let's solve the problem. I think so. Yeah, for now that solves the problem. No attrition. It's the only thing that I don't want, attrition. Uh, yeah, there we go. We can now get the uh, Ramon Mercader. He is uh, Mexican-Spanish. 
Because we want to kill Trotsky and he fleed. He fled to Mexico. Oh, we need to build a spy network in Mexico. And then we can do the subtile assassination when we have 25%. And then we can do it over there. Cool, right? Now guys, that's going to be the end for this episode. In the next one, hopefully we will can kill Trotsky. We are going to um, continue with the paranoia system, which is almost done. Oh, and we can build more stuff here. Let's also do this. I want at least, uh, I think, 75 civilian factories, and then we are going to build our war machine. So yeah, thanks for watching guys, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye bye.